In our Health Watch report, modern surgery is getting a boost thanks to some sticky sea creatures. Local 3's Connie Feldman has more. Most of us know someone who has had a cut wide or deep enough to need stitches. What if sealing skin was as simple as using a small dollop of adhesive? It's one inspiration among hundreds from scientists taking research from the lab bench to the hospital bedside. Tanks full of sticky sea creatures that could soon improve modern surgery. This tank is connected to this one. Purdue Materials engineer Jonathan Wilker has spent years studying blue marine mussels to see what makes them stick to surfaces underwater. They try to keep them happy. Because when these mussels are happy in cold moving water, they produce more plaque, the stringy material covering the glass. And so what these animals do, it seems, is they make fairly unique modifications to their proteins to turn them into adhesives. The same principles in a lab engineered product could have a crucial role in surgeries. Wilker and his team are testing how the adhesive could bond bone or skin instead of using stitches. If you have sutures, what you're doing is you're poking holes in healthy tissue and then you're tying things together, you're creating sites of mechanical stress. Wilker's findings are among dozens of inventions this year that could change medical practice. What is very interesting at Purdue is we do not have a medical school, but we um, create quite a few uh, human health um, oriented companies. Wilker's findings are among dozens of inventions this year that could change medical practices. In fact, the Wall Street Journal named Purdue third behind MIT and Stanford for the number of startup companies from university licensed technology, like new devices to monitor the heart and another to detect cancer cells. And now, a pathway to bond the human body back together. Professor Jonathan Wilker is working to patent his bioadhesive. He says those adhesives are rich in iron, making them strong and flexible, and they could be used any number of ways. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 3 News.